Hi, everyone, and welcome to this video. So today I'm going to show you how to connect your domain through Google Domains to your Mighty Sites website. So I'm going to go back right here and show you this process. Um, so I'll disconnect this domain so you can see it right from the very beginning. So right here, I built this website for my roofing business. It's Colorado Roof Experts. Um, so here's a look at the roofer website template. So that's all set. And now I want to connect my website uh, to my custom domain that I use through Google Domains. So the first step I'm going to do is I'm going to go into the back end of my system here. I'm going to go to connect a domain. And right here is where I put, paste in my domain name. So I'm just going to copy my Google domain here. I'm going to paste in my Google domain and click save. Now, as soon as I do that, I'm going to get a list of instructions for what I need to do. There's really just two things I need to do in Google Domains to make this work. First, I need to have my primary A record point to the Mighty Sites IP address. So I'm going to copy this IP address here and go back over to Google Domains, manage custom records. And you can see here, I'll delete that to do it all, all from the start, create new record. So first thing, the primary A. So I'm going to put this as A record. I'm going to make this go as fast as I can, which is 600 seconds. And I'm going to paste in that IP address. Now I'm going to create another record here. Oops, oh, create a new record, excuse me. So now I've got <clears throat> the A record set up. Now I clicked on create a new record in the bottom left. And what I'm going to do is now I'm going to change this to C name. And again, I want that live in 10 minutes. And now if I go back over to Mighty Sites, I can see www is what I should put in first and then sites.mightysites.com. So I'm going to click copy there. I'm going to go over here. This is where www goes. And then over here, I'm going to type in sites.mightysites.com. And now I'm going to save both of these. So now you can see I have my A record, 10 minutes to update, and here's where it's going to update to. And then I have my uh, www C name record, 10 minutes, and that goes to sites at Mighty Sites. So now I've updated them here. So I'm going to go back over to Mighty Sites. And this is a really important step. What I need to do is now put, I've completed the DNS updates. So I'm going to put, I've completed the DNS updates here. And now this is going to start working on the back end. So the system's going to start working to check and make sure that these records are updated and connect the Google domain to my Mighty Sites website. So that'll start working. I'll check back in a few minutes and see how our progress is going. Okay, so here's a nice little tool you can use to see when your domain has been connected, essentially, or close to connected. <clears throat> so this is something called the DNS checker. And basically what you do is you just go in here and I'll post this link in the video, but you post your domain and click search. And basically it tells you if that IP address number, the same one that we put into Google domains over here, it tells you <clears throat> if that has been updated yet. So you can see the 174 number matches now. So in most places, the new, new domain has been connected, which is great. Now, if I go back over to Mighty Sites, now I can see a new message in here before it was pending. Now I can see a message in my dashboard that says my domain's connected. So now if I go to manage your domain, of course I could disconnect it, but I wouldn't wanna do that. Um, and now I can see this green check mark and see that it's connected. Now. One thing to look out for if you're just checking this a lot when it's getting set up is your domain is going to have a secure certificate just like this. So you can see connection is secure. And now if I go to uh, this website address, so let me just copy it and paste that right there. You're going to see that it's it's secure too. So connection is secure. So included in your Mighty Site subscription is a security certificate to make sure that you're your website is locked in and uh, and secure for you and your visitors. So that's all included. So now you can see if I visit that website address, um, now my Google domain is connected. It's connected to my website. I can always see that here in my dashboard or troubleshoot it. Nothing should ever happen, but just in case anything does, and you can always just contact us. Down here in the bottom right, you can see our contact chat. Feel free to contact us if you have any issues. Um, but now your Google domain uh, is connected just by updating those A records and the C name in your Google domains. Now your, your Google domain is connected to your Mighty Sites website. So you're ready to go to start marketing that website, marketing that address, putting on your business cards, your decals on your truck, every other place that you're going to market and promote your business and drive traffic back to 
create leads um, and customers for your small business. So that's it. That's how you connect a Google domain to a Mighty Sites website.